Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, we are back at the you know one of those videos, the SOTC. So you see that on my in under these uh, the light box here today, we've got uh, ourselves a total of 18 St. Martins, including a quick swatch check for today. This is the watch that started it all, the St. Martin SM0068 in homage of a certain Seiko, right? Um, yeah, man, yeah, let's cue the intro. Okay guys, so welcome back to my SOTC State of the Watch collection of collection of St. Martins only. So, yep, so let's just kick it off with this watch number one. We have a total of 18 watches today, so let's just go through uh, quickly, uh, shall we? So this is an, an homage of a certain uh, Seiko S. Uh, was it 6105 uh, something something so i completely forgot but yeah you can see that we have this little uh, ish case uh, shape so with this um, um, metal bezel aluminum um, stainless steel bezel insert with this you know your typical seiko uh, homage look thing of this 6105 uh, uh, you know style case so and this one has this unique uh, watch dial which is which ha we have this mop first for me in uh, to be completely honest, completely honest and complete and i really you know it it's a bit i have a mixed feeling about this particular this because i wanted to sell it but because this is my first ever san martin i keep it but yeah still it feels a bit big right now <laughs> on these days so yeah this uh what they call this uh it is using a seiko nh35 movement uh, yeah a, a nice watch and yeah but a bit too big in my opinion as of now right san martin buckle here it didn't came with this particular strap it came with another um uh, another uh, fkm rubber strap which is uh, this one but i've swapped it out basically they are the same i think so the only difference is the buckle so i've <laughs> since the original buckle uh, f looks like that but now i i put it on this the newer buckle but yeah it just looks good in my opinion on this particular rubber strap but yeah it feels still feels a bit too big for me nowadays since i do prefer much uh, smaller watch these days but yeah for something that is and uh, cost me i think less than 150 bucks it, it it's you know it started it all right so that is why i'm keeping it <laughs> right next up is this you know this is again a swap this the first ever swap watch swap that i've done with my buddy so this is the sn0007 uh the bsh bsh is stands for what was it uh, submariner how much b stands for uh, <laughs> i just can't remember but yeah it has this bsh <laughs> right anyway this is a saint martin at heart and you just have this customized logo and this this bezel right it's really really sharp because this is i think the version one that they've started uh in homage of of course this one looks like a in homage of a certain seiko as well the 62 mass but it's a whole lot bigger because this one has a has a 40 millimeters in diameter so it feels and wears big especially i didn't really like the bracelet that it came with so that is why i've never i ever since i've got this particular watch i you know yeah those scratches are not mine <laughs> and i've swapped it out to few quite a lot of different straps every now and then and yeah i ended up with this uh, what was it uh, blue shark uh, strap so it looks cool still the bezel feels really really sharp and but the whole the the one thing that i really do particularly like about this particular watch is this fully loomed uh, ceramic bezel insert so yeah it just looks a bit yellowish but yeah still i don't really mind it but of course it does feels it does wears a bit uh big right so yeah on my 6.75 or 17 centimeters range uh, 6.75 inches or 17 centimeters range circumference it does look big but yeah still it is a nice watch i i've been thinking of selling this watch for quite some time now so yeah still i know guys maybe i will be selling it right. so 2021 uh, i think i bought four saint martin watches or i think this this is the only watches that remain <laughs> from the uh, numbers of watches of saint martin watches that i have bought in 2021 so this is the sn0004 so a they call it a vintage diver you can see that this is for me the you know the best case 
that St. Martin has ever designed. Right, of course, this is not an original, original design, but yeah, still you can see the inspiration with, behind it. So, yeah, brush finishing on the top, polish beveling. So, nice, small, and compact case. And this one is, you know, a reminiscence of an old Submariner, I think, but they never, even the uh, the sub subs, they never have this, uh, what they call, um, leather dial. So, yeah, very cool. And it's 35 movement, of course, and Martin really don't, they don't, you don't, we don't bother to put an NH38 movement on this in a no date version, but <laughs> I don't really mind it to be completely honest with you guys. So, yeah, a very, very nice uh, case design in my opinion, and it, I love it so much. I, I think I have three right now, <laughs> the exact same case, anyways. So, NH35, NH35, and again, NH35, and I put it on this. What was it? This one is from again from Blue, Blue Shark Straps com. I don't know. If, what do you guys think about this particular combo green on and green versus orange it looks weird isn't it but i kind of like it but yeah still <laughs> what do you guys think right so that is watch number three that i've bought uh, still remains from the 2021 pu 21 purchase and the watch that started it all this is the sn0021a-2 so this one started the um, my craziness of 36 or 37 millimeters uh, watch from San Martin so this one is a bit weird again um, it has the uh, indices of an op and they say OP dial but the uh, hands are so uh, this a Mercedes style hands so uh, yeah and I think this is the first watch that I've got with PT 5000 movement in it, so I might be wrong. Maybe I have a few other PT 5000 after that, but yeah, still, this one still remains because it kind of unique if you guys wanted to get yourself this uh, green dial, they are no longer sold. So yeah, that is one of the reasons, maybe one of the reasons that I still keep it, but yeah, I might be selling it in 2024. I don't know. 37 mils doesn't really look that small to be completely on with you. Uh, 45 mil. And the case shape is just nice in my opinion right uh, let's just oh i put it on this uh, seiko five straps so yeah i've sold i know i gave that seiko to my father and he wears it and <laughs> i keep the strap right so yeah that looks cool what do you think let's just zoom out a bit yeah it certainly 37 millimeters doesn't really look that small in my opinion because i went and bought another sn 21s of this one i bought in 2022 so let's just skip let's just hold that thought for the for the moment because into i started my 2022 san martin watch purchase purchase with this <laughs> sn 0030 q2 a bronze pilot's watch so i've swapped it out swapped out the leather strap that I came with with this rubber strap and I took the uh, bronze buckle from the original leather strap because I wanted to give it patina so I wear this in the shower, I wear this to the sea you can see the pat it, patinates, it patinated quite uniquely so of course I don't wear this every day so you can see there's there's a green <laughs> there's some ew, green particle there so maybe wait hold on hold on yep the crown still works fine the crown tube maybe is not a uh, brown so that is why i can still screw it in so yeah b, b dial style with this patina case 39 millimeters in diameter uh 49 mil luck to luck eh, sorry yeah luck to luck and of course 20 millimeters luck with so b dial style it looks really, really nice still looks nice yeah a, a nice you know watch to kick off my san martin watch collection in 2022 right um what do you guys think it looks cool huh for me it just fits the purpose right i just love this thing okay so that's the first watch that i bought in 2022 and to continue my you know obsession with this 37 millimeters case from san martin i bought this sn 0021 b-1 so basically a vintage um explorer type of dial thingy here but yeah the case is a bit different guys so because this somehow uh, Saint Martin has Saint Martin has improvised the case, so you can see that the lugs are a bit thinner on this one. So from this the the A version to B version, you can see that the lug is a bit thinner. 
and the crystal right so they're using this flat sapphire crystal here and this one is a box stone sapphire crystal and they have managed to somehow min reduce the thickness of the mid case which for me brings a whole lot uh, you know different feel to the watch right i just love this thing um from the get-go so i remember when i've got this particular watch uh, i i wear i bring these two watches to penang and i've been i've got infected with that nasty uh, virus and yeah, it gave me like what a whole week of medical under medical care right so yeah, basically what I wanted, I wanted to continue about is this um bracelet that i've been using on this particular saint martin so this is from um i think from merca so we, you can get this for about 25 us dollars from their uh, store on aliexpress but uh, i don't know guys so maybe there is another version another another seller selling on aliexpress for a whole lot cheaper maybe i'll try to get that one in and compare if it is you know the exact same thing but yeah still i do like the look of this bond clip bracelet on this san martin sm 0021 b-1 because i i don't know it look it looks cool in my opinion right again of course pt 5000 movements so yeah that's that the good movement nonetheless so the next watch that uh san martin watch that i've got in 2021 eh, sorry 2022 is the exact same case as the sn 0021 b Dash one. This is the B dash two. So immediately you guys will know that um, yeah the bracelet the, the case the bracelet is exactly the same, but they only change this um, to this Tiffany blue dial. It's in um, enamel blue. Uh, sorry, it's in it's, it, it is an enamel dial, and yeah, and it came with this uh, applied uh, Saint Martin logo. So which is cool. Of course, um, the brand T themselves never really produced this style of dial. So yeah, I guess it is acceptable but yeah still some people might not might not like it some people like it but yeah i'm totally okay so again 37 millimeters in diameter 45 mil in a lot so lot and yep i i i don't know guys so it looks absolutely cool in my opinion right so this is the the third watch from 2022 that is still in the collection let's go to the next one which is the SN007X. This is the 37 millimeter, um, 62 mass or uh, watch, inspired watch. So, but the I don't know why, but this model particularly doesn't really get much attention from uh, the fans. And I think Saint Martin only produced this one with this colorway. I don't think they produce or maybe they did produce something a bit similar but with a different dial but on this style on this you know 60 mass 62 mass style they only produce this uh, color which is i don't understand why but yeah still of course maybe because it is a bit uh, expensive so at about 300 bucks so of course i didn't get it for that price uh, oh i forgot to mention that uh, basically the only watch the san martin did watch that i've bought with so uh, full with my own money is that one other than that i've got discounts right so i've got maybe youtubers discount and also i've got one for for free that they sent out to me so yeah you can call this a promo promo um promoted content so sponsored content whatever but yeah still i do still pay for oh i mean i mean almost all of these watches right uh 27 millimeters in diameter like to like is about 46 i think so it's quite small uh, by today's standard but it is you know true to the um size of the watch that is it is trying to homage but yeah still the, this is you know my first ever 37 millimeters diver and to be completely honest with you guys i just love this size so it looks perfect on my wrist 6.75 or 17 centimeters in circumference looks cool and yeah this is an atom uh silk belt no sorry <laughs> atom sail cloth strap awesome looking strap and on an awesome looking watch right next up is this um my homage of a certain swiss made watch <laughs> you guys know what this thing is uh, this is the sn0023 so which also i think is a flop for saint martin because the price of this thing was close to 300 bucks so some people mentioned that hey, why would you want to buy a watch that is close to the price with the original thing the thing is um for 250 bucks you can get the um, what do you call it uh, the quartz watch that particular model the swiss the t brand model 
uh, but if you want to go for automatic version you will have to pay about five to hundred to six hundred bucks but still this is not a you know not a bargain but still not a bad watch in my opinion especially because it is using the miyota 9015 but yeah i can understand the um you know the the, the the why this design flops because it's just a bit too expensive for me at least anyway so the we do have quite a you know a flat case mimicking the original thing so you, you can also of course release uh, take off this bracelet but san martin themselves never provided any alternative straps to this particular watch so that is why you know I know guys basically i'm stuck with this bracelet and it is you know it's a bit difficult to adjust it that it did have some half link and yeah you do always get you know sometimes it is a bit too loose sometimes it's a bit too uh, tight on these things when you are adjusting it but i managed to get a, a you know a good fit but still check the you know the gap there it's quite huge in my opinion so that is why i you know i never really uh born with this particular watch i'm trying to sell it but yeah so far there's no you know no 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 bidders yet so not no bit so there's no nobody wants to buy this this from me yet <laughs> so hopefully after this maybe you guys will do all right next up is again my favorite uh, watch case of the bunch um sn004 this is the Ah, watch dives limited edition where they have somehow managed to produce a dial and the bezel which mimics the uh, the T brand, another T brand, uh, the uh, BB58. All right, uh, BB58 is 39 mil. This one is uh, 38 mil, but you know it has the ceramic, uh, you know this shiny ceramic bezel. Instead, some people hate it, some people love it. I am in the later camp. So yeah, of course, awesome looking watch on on this um, awesome looking bracelet but uh, <laughs> super duper annoying bracelet to adjust because of this you know double-sided screw thingy but yeah still i don't mind it so again uh 6.75 inch three seven centimeters looks perfect on my skinny wrist right next up is the sn0102 a dress watch from the only dress watch from st martin that i've bought um, yeah, this is an homage of a certain Seiko Superior, Superior, I think. Um, that one is a quartz movement. This one is automatic, and it is using the uh, ah, Seagull S Seagull ST. Was it two one three zero? I just can't remember so, and remember what still still the high bit. I don't know the normal um, twenty one thousand six hundred bits per hour. But the USP of this particular watch is that dial. You know, let's just zoom in a bit. Ooh, yeah, check that out, guys. The dial is absolutely beautiful. I don't wear dress watch that much, but when I do, I really tend to pick one of these just because of that dial, right? So, of course, um, the watch case is using this, um, I think, 37 millimeters in diameter, fully polished case, and I pair it with this fully brush uh, bracelet from uh, from casio <laughs> right so yeah this is my a700 w bracelet and i think it looks cool and the most important interesting thing is that a few years after i released this part maybe a few months after i released this particular video san martin themselves have produced something similar to this to this particular bracelet which is cool right so yeah maybe uh, if san martin sees see this video please do send me one <laughs> all right next up is this SN00541 look at it you guys will know what this is an homage of so this one is using the um, not the NH34 but the uh, the Chinese movement the I just can't remember so this is the 28,800 bits per hour with the GMT hands and this is where the era where Sam Martin has gone crazy with their um, full patina loom dial so after this particular model there are tons of um release from them using full patina hands and full patina dials which you know i am okay but some might not like so and after they release this particular version there are tons of other versions in you know in printed in white printed indices and also on uh, in uh, applied indices and even a few other models from uh, another brands as well so yeah Thank you, St. Martin, for starting to produce some of this. And yeah, it is, and they have set a benchmark on the AliExpress game. So 39 millimeters in diameter, I think, uh, thickness of just about 12 millimeters. So, but the styling, yeah, this is a borrowed design. You guys know what it is. I'm not going to be touching on that particular subject, but yeah, still 
a nice watch for the money a bit expensive at the time so about 300 bucks but yeah still now you can get this uh, with the Seiko NH30 for movement for around 150 or 160 bucks even from San Martin itself which is a great bargain in my opinion All right oh I put it on this um, what do you call this um, leather strap I just can't remember the, the texture name <laughs> yeah leather strap from San Martin awesome awesome uh, feeling strap right uh, next up is the SN0107 I think so again for patina for patina for patina for patina <laughs> okay so this is an homage of a certain T brand Ranger thingy all right 39 millimeters in diameter so I think luck to luck is about 34 sorry 46 I think so yeah fully brush case uh, polish uh, beveling here and fully brush uh, bezel as well so you guys know that you know this this watch right the original version it really uh, brings the price down for that t brand so and yeah it, it looks cool in my opinion i just you know it's difficult to style uh, to swap up the strap because of that you know for putting a loom uh, dial but still lucky for me i have tons of different straps so yeah i could always take off the take it off the bracelet and put it on something or other different straps but still for me also lucky piece um maybe i'll sell this one and get a the 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 the, the other dial version but yeah we'll see what will happen to this particular watch next up is a watch that is the last that i've got in 2022 which is this sn0067 which is a what do you call this an homage of a certain d brand but it is not a direct copy or direct homage and for me that is its strong suit but some on youtube does not agree with me so they say that the other you know that the other s brand is making it better well for me if you want to homage something get the inspiration do your own thing and this is what exactly saint martin did but obviously people don't like it and yeah i think these they don't really sell quite well this one but for me this is if you want to have that d brand homage this is one of the version that you should go so yeah i'm i'm i might be wrong but still that is my opinion and i think this is still way much better than the than the s brand right okay so sn0067 i put it on this particular fkm rubber strap which i made i think looks absolutely nice on this blue and orange dial which looks fantastic in my opinion right so that is how much was it one two one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten watches <laughs> Stan and martin watches from 2022 and fast forward to 2023 i only have about four watches here right uh, for 2023 and this is one of the best right this is the sn0109 one of the few um, initial product early products that is using the um, seiko nh34 and this i have got this in this uh, pepsi colorway which for me is it looks really cool right the combination looks just right so this one doesn't have the um ceramic bezel insert but rather an aluminium bezel insert which is good and the bezel right the bezel is yeah yeah 24 clicks bezel um bi-directional which is which looks and feels really really nice right okay i just can't i just uh can't understand i just can't explain to you guys how i feel about this watch but yeah it looks really special it looks really cool in my opinion and of course i've i've asked Sam martin if they can give me one of those um adjustable registering class right so i've had one in the uh, sn0111 and i've sold that watch and after that i kind of missed this um registering class so i asked them to send me one and it fits this sn0109 it also will fit the um, SN004 and a few other models as well. So yeah, I, I just can't remember, but yeah, still awesome class if you can get yourself one of this. So, okay, so let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like. Looks like 39 millimeters in diameter, 47. Like, I think so, but yeah, the, the USP of this particular piece is that it is an homage of a certain, <laughs> certain tree brand this is way much better because it's very very thin at around 12.5 was it 13 i think so yeah quite a lot thinner 
compared to the original one right next up is another um sm004 so see i love these things <laughs> this is um another collab with uh between san martin and watch dives so ceramic bezel insert um piano black dial with this uh, military style hands so yeah mill sub hands so i it, it just looks perfect in my opinion so i'm i'm torn between if i am to keep between this uh, one or this one or this one mm, i think this one would go first right so it turns you know between these two so which one should i keep which one should i keep you guys let me know in the comment section below guys <laughs> okay so of course sn0004 is going to be fitting my wrist nicely because this is a 38 millimeters in diameter so yeah awesome looking piece and it doesn't have that four rivets uh, style bracelet but rather a simple o style bracelet so wait, that's good and uh, next up is the first ever watch that san martin has sent in to me for free thank you very much san martin this is a 37 millimeters um sn0034 a rather old model this is a pilot swatch by the way so but yeah we have this uh minute track uh train track minute track <laughs> right so and of course the loom is cool as well for a pilot watch so quite a whole lot smaller you don't see 37 millimeters uh, pilot watch that often so yeah or oh, is this a field watch i know guys i'm kind of confused here so the only downside of this particular piece is that this glass it's just way too short so yeah i am i think i i i wear this on the on the loose loose side so see that gap there so if i take one of these um links it will be a bit too tight so yeah that's that so yeah and the only downside because it is a bit cheap compared to other san martin so this one is using the miota 8215 which is you know it doesn't hack so this is the older version but the highlight of the show for today is I think the best watch that I've got in 2023 from San Martin, which is this SN0106. So they in, initially they, they released this particular watch in a different dial version, right? and I didn't really bother about it. But when they released this exact this version with this uh, vintage style dial, with this um Turk, what was it teal? Yeah, let's call it teal teal dial with this red second hand with this vintage styling those um this those white track are basically loomed and uh, this <laughs> beads of rice bracelet it just screams vintage guys and this bezel sorry this class right it's a whole lot thinner compared to your usual um san martin class but still having this scissor metal i know uh this milk class as well so yep awesome looking thing the only weird thing is that they don't really still sell that much so yeah i don't know why because some people hate that this double step uh bezel i love it because it it is certainly unique but yeah some people might not like it so you know what let's just quickly charge all of these watches this video has been it's going to be a bit too long so maybe i maybe i will put it in you know part one part two or, or anyway so let's just search for my oh my my uv lamp where the heck is it okay guys so i've blasted these watches with some uv lights so are you guys ready three two one and boom <laughs> you guys see all of the saint martins are you know they are not they are not skimping on their loom but of course one watch is a dress watch so that one doesn't have any loom but the surprise for me is this sn0106 <laughs> this is not a dive watch guys so that is why you know it it's it is special because the loom this this thing's loom is just crazy good right so you just uh, just check out that application on the chaptering or the minute track it's it looks awesome in my opinion so for a non-dive non-dive watch yeah this is cool right <laughs> let's just, just let's just quickly put lights back on and yep that's about it guys this is my um 18 saint martin watches that i still have in 2000 by the end of the 2023 so yeah what should i do with this collection so sh i really think i should slim down so i should you know be letting you a few maybe this one and this one one two three four um, five six yeah maybe ten of them yeah ten of them seven 
Yeah, so let's just see. So, uh, do, do you guys have any suggestion for me to get what should what cinematic should I get uh, next? And yeah, if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Stay safe and bye bye.